Excel's AI features can literally take you from Excel newbie to seasoned professional in just a few seconds. So let me show you the best AI features and we'll rank them from tier S as the highest tier all the way to tier F as the lowest. First up, we have inserting data from a picture. Suppose we've received an image like this one over here, and we just want to be able to copy that whole table and paste it in here. Obviously, you could do this manually, but it's very tedious. So instead, using AI, we can head over to the data tab and head over to from picture, picture from file, and I'm just going to select the file that has the picture in it, which is this one right here. I'm going to click on insert, and you'll see how it's going to load up on the right hand side. You can see here what that looks like. The red parts are the parts it's not quite sure about. Let's just click on insert data to see what it's been able to do. Just gonna go to insert anyways. So you can see it's copied the majority of the data. That said, it does have some errors here and there, like the ID is on the left side instead of in the center and so forth. And realistically, I'm not sure this is something that you would use every day. For those reasons, we're gonna put it down to the E tier. Next up, we have data types, which are kind of hard to explain. So let me show you through an example instead. Over here, we have some countries and we would like to know some more data about them. Like what's the capital city, maybe the population and things like that. And for this, we can head over to the data tab. And in this drop down right here, we wanna select geography. When we do that, you'll see these icons on the left hand side. That means that it's the geography data type. From here, I can insert things like the country's, let's say, capital city. I could also insert something like the country's population. And so much more useful data too. That's not all though. There's actually many other data types. Like for example, stocks. You can see down here, I have some stock tickers for these companies. I can instead go to the drop down and click on stocks. Once the icon is activated, I can find things like what's the employee count in this company. Same thing goes with, let's say, what's the 52 week high share price of this company and get a ton of information too. So it's really quite an awesome feature. That said, I'm not sure how often you would use this. And for those reasons, we'll put it in the D tier. You might think this is a bit harsh, but we just have so many awesome AI features coming up. That's why it's still a bit low. The next feature we have is the analyze data button, which surprisingly few people use. You can see we have this table over here, which by the way, you can download for free in the video description, the exact file I'm working with, so you can follow along, which I would recommend for you to learn these concepts. From here, we're gonna head over under the home tab and all the way to the right, you'll find the analyze data button. Let's click on that. And you can see that it's showing us a few different insights on the data. Like for example, which continents have a higher revenue than others. And we can even ask it specific things. For example, what's the highest revenue? And hit enter. You can see that it's this particular transaction that has the highest revenue. I can click on insert for that full breakdown and a small description too. This is really a super versatile tool. So we'll add it in the B tier, which is the highest so far. Speaking of AI in Excel, if you're looking to leverage AI for data analysis, I recommend you check out HubSpot's free AI for data analysis guide. They're kindly providing this 20 page PDF completely for free, which you can download using the link in the description below. In the file, you'll see an in-depth breakdown of data analysis and how AI can enhance your analytical capabilities. The guide walks you through the process of integrating AI into your data analysis step by step and outlines the key benefits and challenges involved. I personally found the section detailing the key AI tools particularly helpful. It categorizes the tools by areas, making it really easy to find the right tool for your needs. So overall, I recommend you head over to a link in the description below to download this completely free guide from HubSpot to level up your AI skills in data analysis. And thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. We now have the recommended option where Excel recommends specific visuals depending on your data. For example, over here, I have this table with the name, revenue, and the margin. From here, I could just select it with Control A and then head to Insert. And instead of choosing a specific chart that I would want, I can get Excel to recommend that with AI 
under recommended charts, you can see that it recommends this clustered column. Click on OK. And it's a combo chart with the line on one side with the percentage and the revenue on the other. While a lot of people may be familiar with this feature, not that many know that it's also available for pivot tables. So I could select the same data and instead of going towards the right, head to the left where it says recommended pivot tables to get some recommendations there too. I think this is generally a pretty useful tool, so we'll add it in the C tier. Next up, we have forecasting in Excel, which allows you to predict into the future based on historical data. You can see over here, for instance, we have a hotel resort business with some dates and revenues, and we would like to know going forward how the revenue is going to look. For that, we first want to select all of the data right here, and then we're going to go over to the data tab and click on forecast sheet. You can see here that it's creating a bit of a forecast for us, where in blue we have the historical data or the actual data, and in orange are all of the predictions. Thick orange one is the forecast revenue and the top one and bottom one are the upper and lower confidence levels. So it's basically saying that with a 95% probability, the values are going to fall within this range. You can click under options to customize this further, like changing the confidence interval or the timeline. Although this is pretty cool, I think there's probably better forecasting tools out there. So for that reason, we'll give it a D ranking. Following these, we have the flash fill and the auto fill options, which are fairly similar. Let's first take a look at the auto fill. You can see here that I have some employees and I would like to add their ranking. So I can just add the first two. And then we just need to click on this bottom area, double click there, and that's the auto fill for us. It's filled it down all the way to the bottom because it realized that we were just trying to get the rank. Similarly to the auto fill, we have the flash fill, which also detects a pattern. Like for example, if I wrote Bill here and I wrote Smith here, it's able to detect that I'm probably trying to separate the first name and the last name. So I can press Ctrl E and Ctrl E again. You can see we get that flash fill icon over to the right here. So it's been able to separate all of these lines, even though obviously the names don't have the same number of characters. It's done it perfectly. Even though these two are quite simple, they're actually super useful and I use them pretty much every day. So for those reasons, we'll add them to the B tier. Next up, we have the data analysis tool pack. And this is really quite useful for analyzing data, as you might have been able to guess. So here's the same data that we had previously. And all the way to the right under the data tab, there is the data analysis button. Just click on that. And in this pop-up, you'll see that we get a ton of different options. For example, the correlation. So what's the relationship between the two columns, let's say. We also get the descriptive statistics, which is what we'll go for. Click on OK here. And the input range, so what's the data that we're working with? It's all of the revenue figures and all of the margin percentages too. Labels are in our first row. And we want to add a summary statistics for the output or where we want the results. Let's say we want them right over here to the side. So I'm just going to select this column right here. So F2 for me and click on OK. You can see that we get a very impressive breakdown of the key statistics, like what's the mean revenue. We also get the median, the maximum minimum count, and much more. Same thing goes with the margin percentage on the side. I've obviously just shown you one example within the tool pack that had dozens of options. So we'll give it an A tier for this one, as it's really quite a powerful tool, and it saves up so much time. Following this, we have the AI formula in Excel, which is actually an add-in. Let's take a look at it over here. Suppose I want to find the list of the 10 smallest countries in the world by population. For that, I can just type AI.table, hit the tab key there, and the prompt is simply the list of the 10 smallest countries. And now we can just close the parenthesis and hit enter. It might take a while to load, but eventually it gives the population of all of these countries, which are the 10 smallest in the world. You might have noticed though, this AI formula actually has a lot of features. So if I type equals AI again, dot, you'll see that we get a ton of different options. Like for example, we could now choose the fill option instead of the table we looked at earlier. The example is all this upper part right here, which is essentially showing the name of the company, the industry, and the HQ, comma, and the partial are the ones that we want the answers for. 
which are all of these towards the bottom. Close the parenthesis, hit enter, and you can see that it's able to detect that Amazon is an e-commerce company in Seattle. So it's all looking fairly good, even specialized. That's a bit of a smaller company and cycling. It's able to detect that as well. Given how impressive this formula is, we'll also add it to the A tier alongside the tool pack. And finally, we have Microsoft Copilot, which can pretty much do anything in Excel. Let me show you some examples with this table that we have over here. To activate it, I'm gonna go under the Home tab to Copilot on the right. Here, we can ask it something like filter the rating to only show the five star rows and hit enter. So we only wanna show the star ratings that are at five stars. Now we're just gonna click on apply there and you can see that it's able to filter specifically for those that have five stars. If we wanna go back, let's say go back to original and I can apply that choice again. So now it's back to the original. I could even create a chart or a graphic of sorts. So let's say group the clients by star rating in a pivot table. So you can see it's found the sum of clients by each of the star ratings. I can then click to add to a new sheet to see all this information broken down. So just given how many use cases Copilot has, we'll add it to the S tier. That said, it's still a bit buggy and takes a bit of time to load. So just make sure you keep that in mind. That wraps up this tier ranking. And if you wanna learn more about how to use Copilot in Excel, check out this video over here, or you can take our Excel course over here. Hit the like and the subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.